in every action there is science it gets into power when someone invests time and force science is a study of knowledge about the physical world and natural laws science organizes knowledge in the form of testable explanations and observations science is something which keeps on reinventing with the four schools which are chemical biological physical and mathematical and this happens in university of mumbai department of atomic energy center for excellence in basic science the department of atomic energy government of india and the university of mumbai jointly launched a center for excellence in basic sciences offering high quality undergraduate teaching embedded in a postgraduate and research environment some of the best teachers from university of mumbai departments and the university of mumbai affiliated colleges and from proximate partner institutions like bhabha atomic research center tata institute of fundamental research iit bombay and the homi bhabha center for science education the nectar of knowledge is imparted by highly experienced teachers at cebs i chose to teach in the department of physics on the kalina campus of mumbai university and after about 5 years the dae bosses dr kakodkar dr chidambaram said to me you seem to be enjoying working in the university sector why don't we anchor you so they gave us some 50 or crores or rupees to set up the center and that was the beginning when Dr. Kohli, Vice Chancellor of Mumbai University, and Dr. Kakodkar, a Chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission, they signed an MOU to set up this centre for basic sciences on a five-acre land in the Kalina campus. The School of Physical Science has core competence in areas ranging from theoretical and experimental nuclear physics, condensed matter physics. plasma physics to astronomy and astrophysics we have both theoretical as well as experimental components here and the faculty members of group of physical sciences is involved in cutting edge research in their own areas of expertise this is the nuclear physics lab at cebs and it has a variety of nuclear radiation detectors and state of the art instrumentation the lab has a dual purpose both teaching and research and since the past 6 years we have been training the master students at cabs in the detection of various kinds of radiation ranging from gamma rays to x rays alpha particles beta particles and conversion electrons in the school of chemical sciences we are working on the several research areas like catalysis materials for uh, for the organic light emitting devices for the solar cells for field effect transistors and we are developing the molecules also we are making the devices so that we can have an idea that how good our molecules are here in the in, in the center so whatever they are going to, to learn in the theories in the classrooms they are going to come here down in the labs and going to do the experiments that's the best part of it they are going to design their own experiments going to perform it and then analyze the data So the School of Biological Sciences offers uh, several courses, both theory as well as the teaching laboratories. Courses such as uh, Introduction to Biology and the Introduction to Macromolecules are taught. And basically, these courses are also taken up by the students who would graduate with the uh, chemistry, math, as well as physics. There is a general feeling in the scientific community that we are not getting good inputs into the research programs that the scientific community was running. and the main reason for that was that the undergraduate education was seemed to be in pretty bad shape and there are many initiatives around that time which uh, to start un- good undergraduate institutions good places which would compare favorably with good institutions in the west for instance and uh, it was with that motive that this center for basic sciences was started so the concept of this cbs system is to have very distinguished scientists to come and discuss and teach science at a university campus so the things which we normally do not learn in the university campuses these people who are specialized in various areas 
they would like to excite the imagination of the students the center aims to eventually have about 600 students 150 faculty members including the visiting faculty and permanent staff cbs has state of the art infrastructure in both the prefabricated and newly constructed permanent structures these structures have modern well equipped research laboratories where the students enhance their knowledge students are provided accommodation in the hostel at a nominal rent hostel has common facilities such as common internet room for accessing emails and for the project work gym sets that atmosphere to keep yourself physically fit and healthy as they say a healthy body keeps your mind healthy and cbs believes in this we have events organized throughout the year but our major event is named oris all these things that you see here are a part of oris fest our cbs is not just about science it's about art and expression as well and oris is a celebration of expressions i have been associated with this center for excellence in basic sciences 2009 i came here as director of the center the center was established as a collaboration between the university of mumbai and the department of atomic energy as an experimental venture to improve the quality of education in the university system in general it was established by the department of atomic energy to test the feasibility of such a venture see if it can be replicated in other places if this is successful today we all are living in a society which is heavily depending on science and technology whether it is a food or fun or communication or commuting everywhere we have to depend on science and technology and this requires a huge amount of trained scientific and self motivated manpower if you have attitude and aptitude to do science and curious about science you must join cbs and it offers enormous opportunities in terms of infrastructure training mentoring and different directions to groom you as a scientist so that's why this is the place where you can do good science so life at cbs is like life multiplied by scientific calculations and divided by all those obstacles students face to kick the goal